Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks again for watching. I am obviously not at home. I'm trying to block out this bright light coming in from behind me, which is actually not that bright. Um, it's kind of overcast where I am today and I am actually in New York. I'm not in the city yet, but I will be later this week and just finally taking a vacation. Um, first time since COVID basically. <laughs> and yeah, so I posted on my community tab. Basically, did you want to see a what I packed? And it seemed like you guys did. So I'm going to go through that and that's it. <laughs> um, I might consider, I might do a vlog of like the, my New York trip. So my husband, I was going to say boyfriend. <laughs> no, he's my husband now. We got married in August of last year and like during COVID. Um, it was interesting. But if you want to watch that, I have a little like how I did my makeup for the day uh, video there. But what was I saying? Oh, he's from New York. He's from the city. So we come up here to visit family and that's where we are now. Um, we're in North Salem, which is up in Westchester County, if you know the area. And we're spending a few days here then back to the city, then up to the Catskills to see his parents. So that's kind of the long and short of it. But let's see what I packed. So I started off with this little bag, which it's not huge. Um, but then I was just putting sunscreens in and I was like, okay, I see what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to bring a sunscreen bag and then a makeup bag. And I'll probably just use this bag mostly. I feel like on vacation, I just don't wear a ton of um, makeup, um, especially when it's hot and humid. Cause it's like, I don't want to just sweat it all off. So right now I just have, what is it? Um, what's this? mascara and some concealer on and that's it and i'm probably gonna take a nap soon so i don't need anything <laughs> anyway let's get into it so what i have right here i have a lot and i know this is not a normal amount of sunscreens that normal people bring but i basically am obsessed with sunscreen and i also test it out for many many videos so i was like this is the perfect chance because why not so let's go through it. Number one, this is a new one I got. This is the Super Good Play sunscreen or spray. And I haven't used it a ton, but it's perfect for being like at the beach, uh, at the pool. Um, and I thought maybe my husband would wear it more than a normal sunscreen. So I don't love sprays. They should not be your main thing, but like a touch up here and there. That's kind of what I use them for. And then I'm not going in any particular order. This is my Glossier SPF Invisible Shield. This is, I feel like it's almost done. I've been using the crap out of this. I love it. And this is just an easy one. I can see myself throwing it on when I'm going for like a quick walk in the park when we're in the city or just wearing it under makeup during the day. I'll probably reach for this quite a bit. Oh, Peter Thomas Roth. I got an email back from the company and they checked the batch number and they're like, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to return it, here's like 10% off. So that was a little frustrating because I had one of my other subscribers said that hers was so much darker. Mine seems much lighter. It's kind of like what's going on. What is the shade actually supposed to be? Um, I still like it. I like that it's dewy on me. Oh, and hers was matte. So that didn't make sense, but um, I, I might wear it. I don't know. It depends kind of on the humidity level. Cause if it's so humid, then this is probably not what I'm going to be reaching for. Um, but yeah, brought it anyway. Oh, this is a new one also. I'm gonna be doing a video kind of on these two later. So that's a little sneak peek. But this is the Derma E um, Mineral Powder. I think this is a great addition to my, basically it's gonna live in my purse. You've probably seen these. These are little powders just on the go. Um, I had one before by maybe Peter Thomas Roth and it broke in my purse which was not fun. So I'm testing, testing out a different brand. Uh, next up, this is also coming, uh, some of these are gonna be sneak peeks guys. So if you're watching this, good on you. This is Garnier Amber Solaire. This is from Europe. I had to actually buy it and then get it sent over. This is SPF 50 PA. No, it doesn't say PA, but I believe it probably it's UVA and UVB. Um, this is a chemical sunscreen and I don't think this one has any scent. 
This is also what I'll probably be reaching for a ton, um, just on like busy days in the city, like not wanting to deal with a tinted mineral sunscreen. That's kind of what I reach for. Another one that I will re be reaching for a lot is this Peter Thomas Roth. I love this. The only problem is I think it's probably not gonna be my summer sunscreen. I wore it the other day and it left me really quite dewy. So um, it's a good thing to know. Like I like to test these out during different times of the year. This one will probably be more like fall and winter, maybe spring. Summer, it's just hard because I sweat a lot and my face, I just don't need more dew on my face. So if you have super dry skin, it's probably good. This one, actually, I reached for, I never reached for. I don't love Supergoop. <laughs> it's a common theme on my channel, um, but I do, out of all of the Supergoop sunscreens, I probably like the matte screen the most. And I figured dewy, or I mean, not dewy, we're going into kind of the humid season and New York in the summer can be super hot and humid. So this seemed like a good option. So yes, it's there. Um, this one, if you've not seen this new video, this is on the Dr. Brandt Liquid Sun Shield. I will link that above. This is a mineral sunscreen and I had a lot of luck with this. I thought it went on really beautifully. It seemed to be as sheer as a non-tinted mineral sunscreen can get. I wanted to see how it does in kind of hotter weather. So I might try this tomorrow. We're gonna be, I think today is really gloomy. I'm probably not gonna be outside that much, but I think we're gonna be at the pool tomorrow. So I might try this out. Next up, a, a definite favorite of the last month or so. This is the Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense. This is one of the probably, oh my gosh, all my sunscreens are so pricey, sorry. This is probably the cheapest option then um, that I've been liking and the only thing is I have to be a little bit more careful around my eyes. This might not be like your beach pool one, um, but probably like walking around the city, it's a good one. And then another one from Europe, this is the La Roche Posay. And this is Athelios. This is from Europe. Again, I bought it in the same order where I got European sunscreens. And I've been liking this as well. It's a chemical sunscreen. Um, again, wanting to test it in kind of hotter weather. So we'll see. And then the last one I got recently, this is, I don't know if I would call it drugstore because I bought it at Whole Foods, but this is the Pacifica Mattify and Protect. Um, it sounds really interesting because it's vitamin C, zinc, and niacinamide. Um, it's interesting because it's octocrylene, which is a chemical filter, and then zinc oxide, which is a mineral filter. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be no white cast, but it did have one. So I just wanted to test it more. That's why I brought it. And also like, did they copy each other? They look very similar. That's it. I mean, I only brought 11, 11 sunscreens <laughs> for nine days. So really I could almost wear one a day, which I probably won't. Um, I think the common theme for me when I am traveling in the summertime is mineral sunscreens are not my go-to just because it, I sweat too much, it's too hot, it's too humid. I don't wanna be like wiping the sunscreen off. I find that chemical ones just kind of sink in better. They just don't interrupt my life as much. I know that if you have really like bad sensitivities to chemical sunscreens, that's not an option. So I did bring some chemical and some mineral, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm probably gonna reach for the chemical ones nine times out of 10 this trip. So there we go. Okay, next up I have makeup. It came in my little Glossier bag. It's all on the table right now, but let's go through it. Um, I guess I'll go in order of how I would apply it. Well, I'm not sure exactly the order, but I would probably start off with the base. So I only brought one concealer, one concealer to rule them all. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in the shade Macadamia. This is my go-to. I just wish they made a foundation in this, like a light, coverage foundation. I would never buy anything else probably. And then I brought two foundations. I actually should have brought the Fenty because I really wanted to see how that does in the heat, but I forgot. Um, so I have my MAC Face and Body. This is the original formula. And then I have my Glossier Skin Perfect or Perfecting Skin Tint. I have it in the shade G8 and then N3. 
And this obviously I would wear maybe, well, maybe not obviously, but I would wear it more at nighttime if I'm going out because it has a little bit more coverage. This is just the perfect thing for me when I don't want any coverage, but I don't want to go out totally bare faced. It's almost like a moisturizer with just a tiny little bit of pigment. If you've never tried it, I mean, I'm sure you've heard about it. People either love it or they hate it. I, I like it. <laughs> then we have, I guess like more found, more face products. I only brought one face powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Shade 2. I love this stuff so much. No other powder compares to me. I did bring one <laughs> bronzer. Um, it's this tiny little Marc Jacobs. This is the Tantastic Omega Bronzer. I got a trial size because you guys know I love trials. And I mean, it's not how many, let's see, 3.6 grams. So like I'll probably never use this all up, just the amount of products I have. Um, nice little bronzer, good for traveling. What probably I shouldn't have brought just because it's not like super travel friendly, but I just can't get enough of is this. This is the new, let's see, I'll show you the cover. Um, Blink Glow Getter Face Palette. It smells so good. Every time I use it, I'm like, is that me? No, it's the palette. So these are four shades of highlighters and then four shades of blush. And this was a gift in PR. I got it last week. I haven't really had a huge chance to play with it, but lately I've actually been super, super into these highlighters on my eyelids. They are the perfect amount of glitter but not like too glittery, like you can wear it during the daytime. And I've been wearing almost all of the shades. Um, I also, I think I put a little bit of the gold one on as highlighter today. And then these blushes are also pretty beautiful. The one I probably won't reach for that often is this shade, just because I'm not a big like light pink person, but I've used this, I've used that, I've used that. And I actually use this dark shade as more like a bronzer for me. Um, and they're super pigmented, so. If you get this, um, just know that they're super pigmented and you're gonna have to like kind of build up rather than go in really heavy. But I do have a discount code for this, so I will link it in the video if you're interested in it. I, like I said, I haven't had a huge chance to play with it, but so far I'm liking it. That's why I brought it. <laughs> and then of course I had to bring one little cream blush. This is the Rare Beauty Nearly Apricot. I love this blush so much. And I tend to, I've actually started um, layering. So I'll do the powder and then I do the cream on top. This is a Patrick Ta kind of technique. You get the longevity of the powder, but kind of counterintuitively putting the cream on top of the powder gives it that really natural finish, but the long lasting ability. So in the heat, not sure if it's gonna hold up. We're gonna try it though. I'll quickly go through these. These are the brushes that I brought. So this is just like a big face one. I can use it for powder. I can also use it for brush, blush, brush, <laughs> blush or um, bronzer. Since I do use it for all three, I just kind of take it and wipe it off on a towel or uh, paper towel. So it's really not a big deal. Um, I brought one clean blending brush and one dirty blending brush. Uh, yeah, always have to have one fluffy brush. And then I brought this one. This is more like um, if I want to pack on any shadow on my lids, good to have. This, let's see if you can see it. These are, most of these are BH Cosmetics. This one is, it's kind of like a pointed one and I use it to do eyeliner if I'm using a shadow. I really like it because it's kind of dense but pointed. And then this is my typical concealer one. I can also use this to powder. So easy, easy, easy. And then a beauty blender. Well, this is not beauty blender. I think Sonia Kashuk, nice and squishy. Always good to have. I brought one brow pencil just because I don't really fill in my brows that much these days since they are microbladed, but this is the brow gown. So it has one end with the pencil, one end with the spoolie. I only brought one brow gel, which is my elf one. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm pretty sure that this is discontinued. And I bought like five when I realized it was being discontinued, but this is my favorite brow gel. It holds like none other. You could probably pay like the $30 for the brow freeze from Anastasia. I wish they still carried it. I don't think they do, so I'm sorry. I brought two mascaras, that's it, I know. I have a lot. 
One, you guys have seen this me rave about this for a while. This is the Lash Sensational Sky High from Maybelline. I have a new bottle, new tube at home. Uh, so maybe I'll finish that this trip. That's what I'm wearing right now. And then my other favorite, which is the Blink Ultra Volume. This is just the best tubing mascara that I have right now. It does not transfer and I need that in the heat and humidity. Okay. We have one eyeliner. Um, I haven't been wearing a ton of eyeliner, and if I do, I if I want to do like a brown one, I will just use that dark, like blush brown shade of from the Blink palette. Or this is Mac Brush Stroke in Brush Brown. And then I have two little um, kind of like cream shadows. So my very very favorite, which is the Vive Sand, um, and I would use this brush, this like packing brush to blend out this. And this is great if I don't want anything, but I just want to cancel out the discoloration. And then I have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade, what shade is it? Sunrise. And this is just a nice like pinky kind of shimmery. Um, I can wear it alone, but I tend to put it on over some other like base just because my eyelids have too much discoloration. So yeah. And then two random things, uh, some tweezers obviously, and a little thing of perfume. This is the Valentino Voce Vide. It smells so good. Oh my God, I love it so much. So that's what I packed. I know that it seems like a lot for most people and I didn't need to pack, well, definitely not 11 sunscreens, um, but I like to try it out. And I tend to not wear like 75% of what I bring, but if you're a woman, you probably know the struggle where like, if I don't bring it, that's when I want it. So not that much, I thought, and we were driving, so I didn't have to worry about like fitting everything in my suitcase. So I hope that was fun. This was a little fun kind of going through everything and reminding me what I have and what I need to use. So I will see you guys in my next video. And if you do want to see maybe a New York vlog, let me know in the comments. And if they are, if I get this up soon, I will try to vlog in the city. So. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye.